So there are a lot of reports following the 2016 election that it was Russians using bots and trolls to divide America on racial lines, using memes and Facebook posts, and that's ultimately what helped Donald Trump win the 2016 election. Now, you guys know how I stand on that. I, I, don't, I don't think that that's what lost uh, Hillary Clinton the election. I think she was a terrible candidate, and especially a terrible candidate for... Uh, an election year that was an anti-establishment election year. You know, run somebody who's a corporatist during uh, uh, an election year where everybody hates the establishment and corporatists. But anyway, I don't want to go back and really relitigate 2016. Um, but when reporting on the investigation, right, uh, into Russian interference, and, and I believe that they did try to interfere and how successful they were I don't think that they were necessarily successful, at least not at creating the division, maybe exploiting it, but definitely not creating it. And so my point is that America was already divided on racial lines long before Donald Trump, long before the 2016 election, right? And in an interview with Christiane Amanpour, none other than comedian Dave Chappelle backs that up by saying this. Some of the things they say, even when they say uh, that Russia influenced the election, it's kind of like, is Russia making us racist? Is that, is that who's doing it? Okay, I thought it was, oh my God, thank goodness yeah. I thought it was us. Uh, I, just, I, haven't like, thought of it that way. Huh? I haven't thought of it that way. Yeah, if, if they kill the country that way, then we're the murder weapon. Damn. If they kill the country, then we are the murder weapon. Uh, you hear that? Americans, look, uh, Russia didn't make Americans racist. We were already racist. So... Well, look, all they did is try to play on that division that was already there. And that was something that Donald Trump actually did even more effectively. He played in the division that was already there. Look, long before Russian meddling, by the way, and long before Donald Trump, during the eight years of President Obama, it was shown that this problem, this, this country has a serious problem with racism. That's why Donald Trump, I believe, is actually a symptom right? Because there's this undercurrent of racism and racial resentment that has been stirred on and ran on by the right for decades. Look, going back to civil rights, right? The right wing, for example, ran on the Southern strategy and they had a pretty long, pretty successful run. They appeal to racists and then racists turn out and they vote for you. That's what they did. Donald Trump didn't create that. The Russians didn't create that. They exploited it, but it's always been there. And so that's the big problem here. And so that's what, unfortunately, a lot of corporate media tends to miss when they talk about the issue of, oh, did Donald Trump create this? No, he didn't create the problem. Chappelle later says he's riding this like a wave. Basically, yes, that's absolutely correct. Now, here's the thing, right? Going back to the past, the politics of racial resentment and white identity politics have been played in nearly every election, from Ronald Reagan's welfare queens to, Willie, to the Willie Horton ad. And look, uh, even on the Democratic side, Bill Clinton ending welfare as we know it, that had a huge impact on the black community. Turns out racism sells. Fear of the other gets people out to the polls. And again, that foundation was already there, that foundation of racism and hatred and racial resentment. And we're seeing it basically bubble over today. Now, we see this and we see examples of this all over. We got black people that get the cops called on them for basically doing nothing. Police officers getting off despite shooting unarmed black citizens. Police officers barging into other people's homes who think, oh no, that's my house. Oh, I see a shadow. And it ends up being a black man being killed in his own home. That's what we have. The Russians didn't do that. That's not Russia, right? So maybe my whole point here is maybe we should stop blaming other countries or just Donald Trump. And maybe we should actually admit that we've got a big race problem in this country driven by media outlets like Breitbart and Fox News that profit off these divisions and by politicians on both sides that benefit from pitting us against each other. 
Now, I'm not saying that this is even. I'm not trying to make a, a false equivalence here. Most This problem exists mostly on the right wing, but there are some on the left too. I mean, look, Democrats do promise to fix some of the problems in the black community, but then they don't. Some Democrats will use black people for votes and not actually do anything to make black people's lives better. Again, that's not the same as Republicans. Republicans are far worse. They go out of their way to make life worse for people of color. So don't misunderstand me. And again, I am not attempting to conflate both sides. I'm just saying that right now, we've got groups of citizens that are facing unequal treatment and unequal justice. And that right now, I think, is a far bigger problem than the Russians posting memes. Hey guys, hopefully you enjoyed that free video. Now I'm going to have to ask you a favor. Between the uh, demonetization and the YouTube algorithm messing around with view counts, etc. We're having a hard time adjusting to the new YouTube reality, which is where you guys come in. See, we have a Patreon, patreon.com slash TYTNation set up to help us rely on the, you guys, the viewers, instead of big corporate ads. Look, you know the show. You know how I'm not in favor of big corporations anyway. So help us transition away from relying on the ad model to pay the bills and sign up to be a patron, patreon.com slash TYT Nation. That goes a long way to help us keep the lights on. And you guys will know that you're supporting independent progressive media.